Hey, Mr. Grinch, can you explain to me what exactly is a logarithm? Of course, LeBron. So look at this logarithm right here. This whole logarithm is basically just asking, what exponent do you need to raise 3 to to get 9? That's light work. You just need to raise 3 to the power of 2 to get 9. That's right, LeBron. So this logarithm literally just equals 2. Let's try another one. What about this, LeBron? Well, if we apply what you said earlier, this would be the same thing as asking, what exponent do you need to raise 3 to to get 1 ninth? Except, Mr. Grinch, how can we raise 3 to a specific power in order to get a smaller number? LeBron, you are forgetting about negative exponents. The answer for this one is negative 2, because if you were to raise 3 to the negative 2 power, you would get 1 ninth. So, whenever it comes to more advanced logarithms, a lot of the time, you are simply going to be using exponent properties.